License plate readers, LPRs, are like the silent guardians of modern law enforcement. They are quite ubiquitous now, and you may not even notice them. How they work. LPRs are either mounted on police cars, on street poles, overpasses, or other fixed locations. They automatically scan license plates of passing vehicles and run that data through various databases. The cameras take high-resolution photographs of the plates, sometimes multiple images of each plate. They instantly process this information and compare it to pre-existing databases. This data may include stolen vehicles, vehicles connected to criminal activities, expired registrations, and even amber alerts for kidnapped children. The technology behind it. These systems use optical character recognition, OCR technology, to identify the characters on the license plate. The powerful software enhances the image quality to ensure the numbers and letters can be accurately read and logged. Usage in Law Enforcement 1. Real-time alerts. Officers on patrol receive immediate notifications if a scanned plate matches any hot list entries. Think stolen cars or those wanted in connection with a crime. 2. Checkpoints and surveillance. LPRs can be used at roadblocks or major event screenings to quickly process massive amounts of data. This is invaluable for ensuring safety and capturing potential threats. 3. Historical data. Stored plate data can be used to track vehicles' movement over time. This can lead to identifying suspect patterns, frequent locations, and can help in reconstructing the events around a crime scene. Privacy concerns. This tech is extremely powerful but carries with it a heavy conversation about privacy. There's a fine line between maintaining public safety and encroaching upon individual freedoms. All states have different laws regarding how long this data can be stored and who has access to it. That's why you'll often hear debates about oversight and data retention. Effectiveness. Despite the controversies, LPRs have proven to be an effective tool in crime prevention and solving. They offer a technological edge that's almost necessary in today's society, where crimes are often sophisticated and quick. Final thoughts. Like any technology, LPRs are tools, and their ethical use depends heavily on the guidelines set and how rigorously these guidelines are followed. Done right, they can indeed enhance public safety without sacrificing privacy. Scott from Portland lids an area where such technologies can be subject to intense scrutiny, but that's the beauty of an informed public keeping checks and balances on how these tech advancements are used.